Your eyes don't just see the world, they remember it. They carry echoes of mountains crossed, languages lost, fireside songs. And if you were born with hazel eyes, your story is even more mysterious. Because your gaze doesn't settle, it shifts. Green at dawn, gold at noon, bronze at dusk. This is not just about eye color. This is about how light bends, how genes collide, and how something as small as an iris can carry the weight of history. This is the origin and mystery of hazel eyes. Hazel eyes are among the rarest and most complex eye colors in the world. Around 5% of the global population has them, with higher rates in certain regions, like Spain, Turkey, the Middle East, and Brazil. In the United States, about 18% of people have hazel eyes. Despite this, science is still uncovering exactly how and why they form. Unlike blue or green eyes, hazel eyes aren't uniform. They contain varying levels of brown melanin, golden fair melanin, and a scattering effect in the iris that can produce greens, ambers, or gray. The inner ring near the pupil is often brown or coppery, radiating outward into green or gray, creating an eye that appears to change with the light. This is due to a phenomenon known as Rayleigh scattering, the same effect that makes the sky look blue. From a genetic perspective, hazel eyes are polygenic, influenced by at least 16 genes. Two major players, OCA2 and HERC2, control melanin levels in the iris. Specific variants in HERC2 can reduce OCA2 activity, resulting in lighter eyes. Other genes fine-tune eye color further, shaping the blend of pigments and how light interacts with them. Hazel eyes usually result from a moderate amount of melanin, not enough for brown, but more than green. Interestingly, Hazel does not follow simple Mendelian inheritance. A 2015 pedigree study from Kangra, India, showed that Hazel eyes appeared in multi-generational lineages in temperate climates, but were much rarer in families from humid subtropical areas like Bihar. The study concluded that hazel eyes are neither sex-linked nor purely dominant or recessive. It even speculated that climate could affect the gene expression of pigmentation, suggesting that environmental factors may subtly influence whether hazel eyes emerge. Historically, hazel eyes likely emerged in regions where light and dark pigment genes mixed. While green eyes may trace back to early European ancestry and blue to a single mutation, hazel eyes likely evolved through interbreeding in areas of genetic convergence. Regions like the Caucasus, Anatolia, North Africa and Iberia were crossroads for trade, migration and conquest, perfect places for genetic diversity to flourish. Ancient DNA studies haven't yet identified a single hazel eye mutation, but they do show that by the Bronze Age, light eyes, blue, green, or possibly hazel, were present from the Pontic steppe to southern Siberia. Some individuals buried in these regions carried variants linked to intermediate eye colors. In modern populations, hazel is common in mixed ancestry regions. Spain, especially in the north, parts of Turkey and Iran, Brazil's European descended population, and the Levant. Hazel eyes are often mistaken for other colors. 
Compared to brown, hazel has less melanin and more color variation. Compared to green, hazel is multitonal, often with a golden or brown burst around the pupil. Amber eyes are more uniform, golden yellow in hue, and lack the greenish tones that define most hazel irises. Hazel eyes are not just a biological blend, they're a symbol of transition. In Celtic folklore, the hazel tree was sacred, and eyes of its color were said to bring wisdom. Roman poets praised hazel-eyed women as both fierce and tender. In Arabic cultures, hazel eyes, Ainun Sahlia, have long been linked to desert beauty and poetic longing. Even today, hazel eyes are often associated with spontaneity, independence, and charisma. Evolution may have favored hazel eyes in regions with mild sunlight. In high UV zones, dark eyes provide better protection, but in temperate climates, lighter eyes pose no disadvantage. Sexual selection likely played a role too. Rare traits, like hazel eyes, often become attractive simply because they are uncommon. Combined with founder effects in small populations, this helped hazel persist. Hazel eyes remain rare, enigmatic, and endlessly fascinating. And while science continues to decode their genetic blueprint, their full story isn't just locked in DNA, it's embedded in culture, memory, and perception. We see hazel eyes on the faces of monarchs in forgotten portraits, in children born in cities where continents meet, and in poets who describe them as sunlight trapped in the forest. Their appeal transcends science, tapping into something emotional, something primal. In fashion and photography, hazel eyes are prized for their adaptability. They change under studio lights. They echo color palettes around them. They challenge what we mean when we say someone has green eyes or brown. And they remind us that not everything in nature fits neatly into categories. Ultimately, hazel eyes are not a fixed point on the color spectrum, but a shifting window into ancestry, environment, and light. They reflect not only what we inherit, but how the world reflects back at us. Hazel eyes are not a color. They are a conversation between genes, geography, and light, a quiet rebellion against simplicity, a mosaic of pigment and time. And when they meet the world, the world pauses. Because in them, nature did not settle for one answer. It wrote many. If you've made it this far, your eyes are curious too. If you love uncovering the science behind beauty, the history behind genes, and the stories hidden in everyday things, this channel was made for you. Subscribe to the History Hub for more videos that blend myth, DNA, and discovery. And if you have hazel eyes, or know someone who does, drop a comment below. Where are you from? What stories do your eyes carry? Thanks for watching. The past lives in all of us. Sometimes all it takes is one glance to see it.